Hey guys, Jim here with another video for you. This is 50 Years in Film, my 10 favorite films from the years 2002 and 2003. But before you begin, at the end of this video, if you like what you see, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe, but most importantly, leave comments. I love the conversations we've been having. Let me know what your favorite films are from these years. Let me know about the films on my list that you agree with ones that you disagree with, because I know there's going to be a couple in my list that you people will be disagreeing with, but that's okay. That's what's fun about this. So anyways, before we begin, the normal caveat, these are not necessarily the 10 best films of that year. These are my favorite films, and they are based strictly on the criteria of watchability and taste. It has nothing to do with quality whatsoever. So, we're just going to jam right through this like we always do. We're going to start off with number 10, work our ways down to number 1, and we're not going to go into any kind of plots. Okay, so we're going to start off in the year 2002, and the number 10 title is Signs, starring Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, and Abigail Breslin. Look how small and cute she is. Written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Number nine, Spider-Man, directed by Sam Raimi, starring Topher Grace, Kirsten Dunst, James Franco, and William Dafoe. Number eight, here comes some of that hate, Jason X, a.k.a. Robot Jason Goes to Space. A.K.A. Friday the 13th, Part 10. Starring Kane Hodder as Jason, with a special appearance by David Cronenberg. Number 7. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Directed by Christoph Gaines. Starring Vincent Cassell and Mark Dacascos. Number six, The Born Identity, starring Matt Damon, directed by Doug Lehman. Lehman, Lyman. I always call him Lehman, but I think it might be Lyman. Okay, top five. Number five, Frailty, directed by Bill Paxson. Starring Matthew McConaughey, Powers Booth, and Bill Paxson. Number four, The Two Towers. Co-written and directed by Peter Jackson. Starring Viggo Mortensen, Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, and Andy Zirkus. Top three. Number three, Minority Report. Directed by Steven Spielberg. Starring Tom Cruise, Colin Farrell, Samantha Morton, and the legendary Max von Sydow. Number two, Dog Soldiers. Written and directed by Neil Marshall. Starring Kevin McKidd, Sean Pertwee, and Liam Cunningham. In my favorite movie of 2002, from my Blade trilogy, Blade 2. Starring Wesley Snipes, Ron Perlman, and directed by Guillermo del Toro. So to recap 2002, number one is Blade 2. Number two is Dog Soldiers. Number three is Minority Report. Number four is Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Number five is Frailty. Number six is The Born Identity. Number seven is Brotherhood of the Wolf. Number eight is Jason X. Number nine is Spider-Man. And number 10 
the signs. Okay, here we go. 2003. And 2003 was a much more difficult uh, year because there was much, much more better movies this year. But without further ado, we're going to start off with number 10, which is from my X-Men collection, X-Men 2. Directed by Brian Singer, starring Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. Number 9, 28 Days Later. Directed by uh, Danny Boyle, starring Killian Murphy and Brendan Gleeson. Number eight, Bad Santa, starring Billy Bob Thornton, Tony Cox, and the late great John Ritter and Bernie Mac. I absolutely love this movie. I think it's hilarious. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, directed by Terry Z uh, Zigoff. Zwigoff. Okay, number seven. Identity. Directed by James Mangold. Starring John Cusack. Ray Liotta. Amanda Peet. Rebecca DeMornay. And Crazy Gary Busey, son Jake. Number six. For my Final Destination collection. Final Destination 2. Starring Tony Todd, Allie Larder, and I forget who else. Who cares? The truck sequence at the beginning of this is brilliant. All right, here we go. Top five. Number five, The Last Samurai. Directed by Edward Zwick. Starring Tom Cruise, Ken Watanabe, Tony Goldwyn, and Billy Connolly. Number four, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Co-written and directed by Peter Jackson. Starring Viggo Mortensen, Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, and Andy Zirkus. Top three. Number three. Kill Bill, Volume 1. Written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Starring Uma Thurman, Vivica A. Fox, Lucy Liu, and David Carradine as Bill. Number two, City of God. Directed by Fernando Morales. This movie is absolutely incredible. From Brazil. This movie is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Please seek it out if you've never seen it. But the number one movie from this year, from 2003, in my eyes, without a doubt. And it's not even close. Old boy. This movie is incredible. Directed by Park Chan-wook. This might be one of the best films. Well, it's definitely one of the best films of the ads. It might be one of the best films from this century. It is absolutely incredible. I love this movie so much. So to recap 2003, number one is Old Boy. Number two is City of God. Number three is Kill Bill, Volume One. Number four is Return of the King. Number five is The Last Samurai. Number six is Final Destination Two. Number seven is Identity. Number eight is Bad Santa. Number nine is 28 Days Later. And my 10th favorite film from this year is X2, X-Men United. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe, and most of all, again, please leave those comments. I cannot wait to hear from you. 
and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.